Pam Pat from Ronan Rescue. Today we're going to talk about the Petzl ID. The Petzl ID, a very simple device. We can use it for descent. Uh, it has a lot of uh, versatility to it. Um, right now, with the handle closed like this, this is the store position. Um, and you can see basically what it looks like when we open it up. There is a, a, a part of the um, device will actually stop you from rigging it backwards. If you look close in, there's an actual point where it shows an anchor loop wrapping around to the, uh, where you control it with your hand. So we'll just walk over to the rope here. Basically what you're gonna have to do is right now with the, the handle in the closed position, you will not be able to put the rope through. So you have to open it into its open position. Taking it from the anchor point, we're gonna wrap it around to where the brake hand would go. Pressing the rope in, nice and clean. It should hug in within the cam itself. And then the plate will close over top of everything. So it's a whistle stop device. And then if you also if you go to full panic and you pull it past the clutch, you'll also lock up and you have to reset. It's a little bit different. You'll see that the anchor loop, uh, the anchor point, maybe not think of it as an anchor point, but as where the actual knot of attachment is. When we rig it into the actual device, that knot is going in on the knot side and the belay portion of the rope is coming out where the hand is. Close it all up, put it in the lock position, Dave tests his weight, we're happy with that, and then we know that we're ready to go into a repel mode. So obviously with all uh, descent control devices, everything works on a cam and this basic uh, S curve, you'll see it very often in all the other devices. Um, so we want to maintain that by pulling the rope over this folded edge and we're going to control the actual descent with the handle again and I'm going to let, let him go down. Um, there we go. That's it.